It's your boy Wolfie. And y'all, for these other two episodes that y'all watched, I didn't really say anything to be honest because uh, I just had to get it done because I was timed. Because I had to goo goo goo. So basically, in simple words, y'all, today. Of course, it's going to be another Friday the 13th one, but only Dizzy's in this one. Yes, I killed Dizzy again. Dizzy, don't get mad, okay? Jeez. It was that night when I was part... It, I'm part seven in this jank. And it just really went haywire because... This 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 is supposed to happen. You it's supposed to be like, oh okay, maybe maybe you won't have a problem. Maybe you'll just be swell and you'll get all the kills. Well, technically, y'all, I know y'all wondering. Hey, Wolf, what about part six? Literally, guys, the video that y'all have seen or y'all will see, um, is basically. Me, and I was part six, and um, nearly got to kill everybody, but when I grappled the Chad, the Goku, Chad, Goku bomb, when he had no more pocket knives, because he only had like two pocket knives, and that fool just went, and he just left. But you know what? The same thing that fool did, it don't matter, because it don't matter. Because come next month, Friday the 13th will be ready. And Friday the 13th will be the best. Because this is the one good thing I'm going to tell y'all before I even start this video. My, By the way, I am a little mad in this jank. Sorry. Demon, you know exactly what's about. You're not in this one. But you know exactly how it goes. When I get mad, and when I get mad, I snap. I snap too quick. I snap. It's it's just basically crazy the way I get peeved off about something. And they weren't even saying nothing. I mean, I, the only person I was really mad at, the one person I couldn't kill... Was Texas and he's killable because I've done it twice now. Yeah, twice. And all I want to do is destroy Texas. That's my purpose in this whole jank. Because I'm saying to myself, as long as I can kill him, I can let Dizzy live. I can let everybody live. Just like I did that one time. When I was part nine, and I just wanted to kill Vanessa. Because there was one dude who really got on my nerves as Vanessa. But not in that video. But before I started the video, there was somebody who was this annoying with Vanessa. I caught him, but it almost it took me at least like five minutes to get him. Five minutes, y'all. When, when does that ever even happen? You know? <sighs> so basically, guys, you could say this is like a little come up. Um, What's going to happen in this next video? Because I don't know what, but my game's doing all this stuff right now. It's uh, trying to get all loaded in and stuff. So I'm going to come back to y'all with a Friday the 13th, WWE, and possibly Godzilla. And hopefully in the future, another Smite video, alright? Y'all know exactly how Smite is for me. It's never It never goes my way. But I'm not going to lie on my first time playing it. I did alright. I was surprised at myself. Because number one, I didn't know anything about this game. I never looked at no trailers. But I seen gun gameplays. So basically, I told myself, all right, I'll give it a shot. And then when I did, it wasn't that bad. But the next one that y'all may see me in, if I do another Smite video, 
is with the homie or with my cuz Spark. It depends on if she's on. Now I know Devil's gonna get on. Speaking of Devil, this this other video that I'm gonna also show on WWE, just to let y'all know, is basically it's a training match getting ready for WrestleMania because me, Devil and Dubs and Falcon and Killer were all supposed to have this match. Because at first it was going to be a fatal four-way. Me, Devil, Dubs, and Falcon. But it's not going to happen now. That's That fatal four-way is out of the commission. Because Killer has already said that he's going to be there for WrestleMania. A.K.A. Seth Rollins. Now, I don't know specifically if Killer's going to be Seth Rollins. Now, y'all already know who I'm going to be. The only person I've been being. Every time when y'all see me, I know back in 2K17, I would show y'all a bunch of videos of me as Shinsuke and me as Roman Reigns only three times. But look how many times I'm being Roman now. I already told y'all, Roman Reigns is my favorite wrestler. Roman Reigns is the big dog. He is the one. And come WrestleMania, I will win against Brock Lesnar, because I cannot stand Brock Lesnar, y'all. Now, Demon, I know you don't like Brock Lesnar, but I know that some people, maybe some of my fans, and my some of you of my subscribers, I know some of y'all, if y'all do keep up with WWE, y'all shouldn't like Brock Lesnar either, but I know there's some people out there who do like Brock Lesnar. I don't know why. All the fool do is the same old move over and over. Suplex after suplex. Well, you know what? Come WrestleMania, yeah, I'm going to take a trip to Suplex City. There's no way to avoid it. And y'all have seen it in the game, especially if y'all also go to my cousin's channel, Doves, not Spark, but Doves. Um, y'all can literally see us face Brock Lesnar or anybody of that matter. Anybody. It don't matter. But on the life note, since my game is doing this, I haven't given y'all a life video in quite a while. You can sort of say that this is basically it's more of a game thing this time, but I'll just give y'all a little life lesson. Every week that goes by, every month, every year, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> you are always going to need to stay positive. It doesn't matter how many times in your life you get pushed down, you trip up, it don't matter. But I advise y'all not to trip because if you trip, it may be a possible thing that you got bad luck. Because I remember when I was like just five years old. And I was just walking through the mall. Yeah, I was a short dude back in the day. I was short. Now I'm tall, but that's what says the point. <sighs> Basically, I tripped in the middle of the mall. And all these people were around me. I don't know if they looked at me. But when I fell, I fell right on my face. Alright? I fell. Now, some of y'all may be laughing out there, but look, this is true because it still get to me this day. And that day was on a Thursday. So every time when a Thursday come by, y'all may be one. That's the reason. That, that right there is the reason why I don't upload nothing on my channel on Thursdays. I never do. Unless you go to my second channel and I'm like, yeah, I'll post it, but I ain't going to talk. But... Thursday is a day of bad luck for me. I cannot really win. I can... Even when it comes down to my work, I don't know. It's just something... Up. It's that day when I was five, it get to me in my head because I know that I got bad luck on just this one day. Now, I don't got bad luck on Monday because Monday is... Monday just suck. 
Let's just all go ahead and point that out. Monday is the worst day of the week because it's the beginning of the week. You see, <laughs> there's a lot of people who wish school was on a Tuesday or and on. And you only have four days. You have that one day out every time. More time to get up on your stuff. More time to be looking for a job or whatever you want to do with your life. Because y'all can't, we can't always be doing this all the time. The game. You know what I mean, guys? I'm just being real. But, I mean, I know. I don't know if I'm going to get any good comments. But, I mean, y'all always get, I mean, Demon always give me good comments. That's Demon. That's a friend. That's, that's, that's natural. But, it's the one thing. I know every single one of y'all have somebody special in your life. And I just wanted to tell y'all this. Whatever y'all do, do never get on their bad side. Don't try to do that. Ever. And especially if something tragic happened in the family. You got to remain cool or you just won't feel right for the rest of the day. So I just want everybody out there to know that every day, every week, every month, every freaking year that pass you back, you need to always stay positive because I know there's some people out there I know there's like people in the hood and all that. I mean, for crying out loud. Now, I'm not going to say I was born from the streets because I was never born from the streets. But I know what it sort of is like because I've seen how people act. I actually have a friend that I know who's the same way. But I got him to see positivity in the mind. And I had to get serious. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. And I told him that ain't the way life is. Because he wanted to do something with his life, but he just didn't know how to do it. So all you got to really say to a friend is just say, you can do it. And this man is still trying to figure out I mean, he in 12th grade, he about to get out of school. I'm almost there, but <laughs> he just needs to stay positive and get through that, go to college or go in the military. And how much money is that man gonna get? Or how much money will all people get if you go into the military or if you pass college? Whatever way y'all wanna do it. I'm just trying to tell y'all, the point of me saying all this is because I want y'all to be positive. Like, I got to stay positive so many times, even when I am so mad at something, and it has no, and my anger don't come from school. The anger comes, say for instance, if y'all are on a game, and somebody says something about you, and you get really peeved off. Just like I do easily, but I need to start changing that. Because I don't want to show y'all every day on video when I'm so mad at something. Usually I show y'all positive jinx. This one, the one that I will show y'all, but not this one. This one's just about life and game upcomings that I'm going to give y'all. But just stay positive, all right? Now, I'm going to go ahead and go, guys. Y'all know what to do. Leave a comment down there if y'all enjoyed it. I ain't going to even say dislike this time because this one, I feel like I did all right. So, leave a comment down there if y'all enjoyed the video of life. I don't know what life this is. It's probably three, if I'm not mistaken, because, yeah, three. Also, guys, don't even think that all the time you're not going to be able to see nothing. Soon, 
I'm going to show y'all me. Finally. Bet y'all wonder how a wolf look. Is this fool ugly? No, I'm not ugly. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. If my girlfriend know now I'm pretty in her eyes and I look good, then no, I ain't ugly. And also, that's another thing. It don't, it will affect you. It will make you feel good if you hear your girlfriend tell you, like my girl tell me, that I look good, and then I tell her she look good too, and you know, all that other stuff. I ain't gonna get too much into details, because I say a lot of stuff. But, um, uh, <laughs> let me stop. Anyway, like when somebody, like your girlfriend, or for you girls, a boyfriend tell you you look good and all that that make you feel good but it also affects you even if yeah I know there's some people out there who have family troubles alright like I said my my girlfriend had some family troubles and I had to do something I had to somehow make her feel better and I did that but also when your family tell you that you are handsome or you look you look all right you look good it make you feel good it make you feel like you're not the you're not ugly because think about it, everybody on this planet there ain't nobody who really ugly that's just the way God made you I mean, if it, man, come on now. I mean, if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't have got through my surgery that I had over, it was last year, and all that. And I'm thinking to myself, literally, y'all, when I went to sleep or when I got knocked out with that gas that they put on you, I didn't know what ha I I didn't know what hit me or nothing. I was just talking. They were like, "What's your favorite thing to do?" And I just said, "Or where you want to go?" Well, first I said first basketball, and then uh, she asked like, "Where do you want to go?" And I always said Florida, because Florida is where. Disney World is, and I've never been to Disney World, ever. But hopefully I'll be able to see it. But during that surgery, when I woke up, I just had to thank God, because without God, I wouldn't have got through it. <laughs> I know there's some people out there who don't really think that God exists, but you ask yourself this. If God don't exist, then how come? There are some people out there who think nothing's going to happen for them. But what happens? You finally get it right. You finally get into your head what you want to do. And you want to know why that thought came into your head? Because it was like a glowing dot. Because God binged into your head and he finally said, this is what you're going to do. This is what he want you to do. And he can see you like that. And then you follow that dream and you keep on going and you never stop. You keep going. You stay positive and you do what you do. And I don't mean the negative way. I mean the real way. I. I just want y'all to know that because our generation, we've been through craziness. I mean, for crying out loud, they had a march. They had a they ain't gonna march in Washington and all over the world. And that was crazy how many of us were up there. And no, I'm not just talking about us, y'all, us black people. I'm also talking about it was white, it was Mexican, it was Every race you can think of that was up there. People who talk different tongues. It was crazy. 
It was insane. It was the way it was. But I just want y'all to know, don't ever, and I mean ever scoop yourself down to a point in your life of hopelessness. Never do that. Never do that. Alright? Because if you do that, you can do something that's not going to lead you to a very good place. And I just wanted y'all to know that because I just had to get this out. I just had to let all y'all know, everybody know, just stay positive and keep moving. Even through family tragedies, anything. And always be by your parents because you don't know when they're going to close their eyes. You, and I'm guilty. Guilty on that. But what you do, you just start being with them. You keep being with your family. You stick up with them. Because that's your family. You can tell them Anything, guys, anything. And that's just what I wanted to tell y'all. And I went way too overboard. Wow, wow, look at that time. All right, but guys, I just wanted to tell y'all this. I don't know when the next time we're gonna have a live video, but probably when I'm in Florida, I'll show my face. And I'll show my reaction and all that other stuff. Then y'all can finally enjoy, enjoy the trip. We will be on a plane, then we will be in Florida, and then we will go to Walt Disney World with my best friend. And also, y'all have a good day. Not a bad day. We don't need y'all sleeping on the wrong side of the bed, all right? Alright, y'all. Peace!